Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is an English translation of the Majlis of Hazrat Maulana Qamaru Zama Sahib Damad Barakatuhum, which took place on Thursday, the 6th of Rabi'ul Akhir, 1446, 10th of October, 2024. Hazrat Wala is speaking about the Kitab of Hazrat Tanwi, which he reads quite often. And he says that Allah Ta'ala give us the tawfiq and the hidayat of making amal on the ta'limat of the buzurgan deen so here the author starts off by saying let me get the page there the author says that i'lam anna al-haqq subhanahu wa ta'ala basata سر ابراہیم علیہ السلاۃ والسلام بنور الرضا جاننا چاہیے کہ حق سبحان و تعالی نے ابراہیم علیہ السلاۃ والسلام کے قلب کو نور رضا سے منبسط کر دیا تھا یو شوڈ نو ویل اینڈ انڈرسٹینڈ دس دیٹ اللہ سبحان و تعالی ہیز اوپنڈ دا ہارٹ آف ابراہیم علیہ السلاۃ والسلام ود دا نور آف ہیز pleasure now this is something which is exceptional when this kafiyat and condition of being pleased with allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is created in the heart of an individual then this indeed is a great treasure hazrat maulana tanwi used to say to the people there asking them where did you come from and he would appreciate so much that the people sacrificed a lot and came so far and how much of sacrifice they made the talab that they had hazrat maulana shah wasiullah sahab was the very same na allah taala create true quest desire and enthusiasm within us talab barjan ay talib mustawli mishawad baru ay bahr ay zakhar wa ko shamik hechnest that when this type of true talab overwhelms completely and totally the talib the seeker of the truth then that is something so great that no matter how deep oceans are in front of him or how high mountains it means nothing nothing will stop him from what he wants to achieve You know this particular article of talab when the kitab came and it was given to Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib in Gorakhpur and he read from there the people in the majlis were deeply affected by it people used to say to Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib Hazrat will come in Ramadan Ramadan would come and Ramadan would go and Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib used to always say dekhiye bahut mushkil hai you people are saying you want to come it is difficult it is a task rather first of all for a person to get ready for islah is something uh, difficult that is even more difficult for a person to bow down in front of someone and to accept that person as their mentor so they used to attach much importance to this and they would even say to others see this person came here for his islah they came here for the islah now when a person doesn't even listen to talks of this nature how can he even make niyat for riza so a person goes to a sheikh he's reprimanded he's scolded and then he runs away he never comes back again what will he achieve listen some type of difficulty and hardship and perseverance you would have to undergo khoon e dil peene ko lakht e jigar khane ko yahi ghiza milti hai jana teri diwane ko tolerate but for the sake of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we go to these big offices these departments and for great great positions what and what we have to undergo but here 
if there's just a little bit of delay for mulaqat and for meeting, a person cannot tolerate that. These people actually, what they want, that if somebody is busy in istinja and relieving themselves, and at that time they come, this person must abandon everything and he must come out and meet them. Nevertheless, talab is everything. Allah Ta'ala give us true talab for him. Hazrat Maulana Shah was Siyullah Sahib had the talab. He used to go to Tanabhavan. He did not even have the means at that time. How he would go and how he would reach there, only Allah knows. When this type of kafiyat of rida comes and settles within the heart of a person, then he would be able to walk this path because then he would understand it well. Harche as dost mira sadne kost. Whatever comes from the side of Allah, there is only good in that. Now, what type of riyazat, spiritual exercises? And then the Sheikh would say something which is difficult for us to swallow. He would scold us, reprimand us, etc. Now, when people don't even want to hear, they don't even listen to these talks, what would they know about the kafiyat of being pleased with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So this is such an important characteristic from the very start. It is there that you have to tolerate this, that and the other. Your heart has to be happy. And eventually in the end, the true and the deep kafiyat of that there comes. In fact, in the start, the shuyukh even take imtihan to try and see how much of khulus and sincerity is within this person. Allah Ta'ala give us the true quest for his rida, for, for having this type of kafiyat, for pleasing Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala. What is the maqsar of our hayat and our life? وَمَا خَلَقْتُ الْجِنَّ وَالْإِنسَ إِلَّا لِيَعْبُدُونَ We have not created man and jinn except so that they can worship us. يعني ليعرفون So that they can recognize us. A person hardly takes a few steps, one or two steps, and then he throws the towel in and he doesn't, want, he doesn't even want to try to walk further. Some amount of talab we should have. You know, this ibarat is so fantastic. Janna chahiye ke haq subhanahu wa ta'ala ne Ibrahim alayhi salatu wa salam ke qalb ko noor e riza se mumbasit kar diya. So, musibat and difficulty will come. You'll have to tolerate it. And then you would reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in all of that. So Allah, the author is saying here, Allah Ta'ala opened the heart of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam with the nur of his pleasure. Allah blessed him with the essence of handing himself over to Allah. And Allah protected his heart from gazing towards the makhluk. It is then when the fire became cool and a means of peace for him. It only happens when a person com completely and totally hands himself over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So whoever then hands himself over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then there will be izzat for him and there will be karamat for him. Therefore, O mu'min, understand that whoever hands himself to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala when he is in a time of test and imtihan then Allah ta'ala will then turn the thorns into roses and will exchange the fear and put peace therefore when shaitan puts you into the catapult of examination and then the entire world comes to you asking you, do you have any need? At that time, say, from you people, from you, definitely not. But from Allah, of course.
If they then say, ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then say, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's knowledge of my condition suffices me from actually asking Him. Now this is the path of the Anbiya alayhi salatu was salam. Allah ta'ala opened by means of the Anbiya alayhi salatu was salam the roads of Hidayat. And behind them walked this path, the believing people, and made it incumbent upon them to follow them, those who had conviction. Just like how Allah Ta'ala has mentioned, قُلْ هَذِهِ سَبِيلِي أَدْعُوا إِلَى اللَّهِ Say, O oh my Nabi, my Habib, Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, that this path which I call to Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, I call to Allah ala basiratin with his insight and foresight. Myself and those who follow me. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says regarding the shan of Yunus alayhi salatu was salam. فَاسْتَجَبْنَا لَهُ وَنَجَّيْنَاهُ مِنَ الْغَمْ We accepted for him and granted him salvation from grief. And just like that we would continue granting salvation to the believing people. Those who follow in the footsteps of the Anbiya alayhi salatu was salam. Those who who have true desire for their nur, the nur of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, those who are seeking Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in absolute humbleness. So this year, in all of this year, there is great lesson for the seekers of admonition and hidayat for people of foresight. The person who comes out of doing this and that and the other his plans, then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has the blessed plan for that person. Now Allah Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam did not plan for himself, neither did he attach any importance to it. Rather he handed all of this over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He handed himself over to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. He pulled, put his full trust in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and then the end result of all of this year was honor and izzat for him even though the lapse of such a huge portion of so many years have passed. Then too, we are still praising and thinking of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. Now Allah Ta'ala has commanded us that we should not come out of the millet of Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. And we should take into consideration that why were we called that? Millata abikum Ibrahim. This is the millata of your father, the creed of your father Ibrahim alayhi salatu was salam. Now this type of uloom and ma'arif, you would be able to reach Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Nobody reaches with this ananiyat. I can do and this year and me and self-conceitedness. Rather, it is with humility. It was an extraordinary thing that great giants like Hazrat Tanwi, Hazrat Gangohi, they went to Hazrat Haji Imdadullah, whereas he was not even an alim in the terminology. However, he possessed a great amount of knowledge. Hazrat Maulana Qasim Saab used to say, people go to Hazrat Haji Imdadullah for amal. I actually went to him because of his knowledge. Allah Ta'ala bless us with that knowledge. Greater than that knowledge, what can there be? And for the ustads, they should tell and make talqeen to their students that they should definitely take out some time, amount of time for zikr and shagal. Now, Hazrat Maulana Shah Wasiullah Sahib's khas andaz, what would he say? That a student stays here for so many long years in the uloom, doing his hifz, his qiraat, his alimiyat, and then at the age of 22, he becomes farigh, he leaves, etc. In all that time, he did not make the dhikr of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Now, how will he then be inspired? Now, what was written in this article that we read out to you today, it was nothing other than that of khut. Khalis, pure, uncontaminated Tawheed and oneness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Hazrat Hajim Dadullah himself was Muahid, one who possessed the oneness of Allah par excellence. 
So these people, great people, all bow down and humble themselves in front of Hazrat Haji Imdadullah Rahimahullah. Why? It was because they wanted to acquire that wealth, the wealth of the heart. Today people don't have that. They are completely barren and empty regarding that. We should create fikr within ourselves so that we can acquire that. This majlis, this pattern that is going on, Allah Ta'ala keep it continuous. And Allah Ta'ala make us acquainted, rather bless us completely and totally with this internal wealth. Rabbana taqabbal minna, innaka anta sami'ul alim, wa tub alayna innaka anta tawabur rahim, bi hurmati sayyidin nabiyyil kareem, sallallahu alayhi wa